Warning, any modification and adjustment should be performed by a qualified and experienced technician. EFI System Pro is not responsible for any damage to your EFI system, engine, or vehicle when following these instructions. When in doubt, hire a professional. Welcome EFI friends, I'm Scott from EFI System Pro. Today we're going to talk about fuel injectors, specifically to the Snipers, the Terminator X Stealth. Sometimes you might find that all of a sudden your Sniper seems like it's a little sluggish, maybe you get some pop in on throttle acceleration, idle seems okay, maybe cruising is okay, but it's those throttle transitions that are a problem. Now the first thing you can do is take the air cleaner off, look down inside, see if it looks like one of these isn't flowing the same as the rest, maybe it's probably not at all. If that's what's happening, there's a couple different things that could be. Worst case scenario and very unlikely is that an injector driver has gone bad in the ECU. Most likely would be that the connector has come undone from the injector. You can just put it back on, problem solved. Some people use zip ties or heat shrink tubing to secure that. And I'll kind of go over that a little bit once we get this opened up. But then the second most likely is that an injector has gone bad. These here are the injectors. Now these injectors are actually 120 pound per hour, which is an upgrade from the 100 pound per hour that comes in these. The second part of this video will be showing that you can upgrade your 100 pound fuel injectors to 120 pound and get an extra 20% fuel flow. And you can do this for any Sniper and the Terminator X Stealth. So real simple on the Snipers, just a four millimeter Allen wrench and take these two bolts out. Now if your sniper has recently run, there's going to be fuel in here, so be ready for that. This cover acts as a fuel rail to provide fuel to the fuel injectors. And once you get that off, you can see these are the fuel injectors. They go in these holes here and these holes here. Now what some people find is that it just comes unplugged. Pops off of there. You can plug it back in. Make sure when you push it that you also push on this little tab to lock it in. Then you can put a zip tie around it. A piece of heat shrink tubing that'll help secure that on there. Now once those are back in, be sure your wires are routed so they don't get pinched. If you pinched wires, it's going to cause you all kinds of problems that are worse than a dead fuel injector. And line the injectors back up with the hole in the cover. Snap it back on, put your bolts in, and you're all finished. Now for the Sniper Stealth and Terminator X Stealth, it's these four bolts here. They're eight millimeter or five sixteenths. You pop those off, it's exactly the same as what's inside the other Sniper. Now once you put your new injector in there, you're good to go, there's nothing to do. If you upgraded to the larger size fuel injectors, you'll need to go in with the software. There's a drop down menu, you just select 120 pound fuel injector. At EFI System Pro, we have replacement injectors and the 120 pound injectors. I'll put a link in the description so you can buy them there. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. You can shoot me an email. So that's going to do it for this EFI System Pro Tech Tip. Uh, be sure to check back often. We're going to do more of these. If there's anything you want to see, put it down in the comments. So that'll do it for today. We'll see you next time.